now. So I think all we can see, those of you at home should be able to see a, uh, my screen, which says graphing stories. It's got some different pictures in it. What I want you to do is go into your unit two packet and open to like the fourth page, I think it is. It says graphing stories on it. It's got four graphs on it. It's the packet with the grapes on the front. And we're gonna open it up to where we see four graphs on a page. And while you're getting that organized, our purpose for this unit is to connect the four forms of functions, T tables, graphs, algebraic, and verbal. And so what we're gonna start with today is we're gonna look at some real life scenarios of graphs or of scenarios and we're going to graph what they represent. And so we're gonna set up our, our axes, we're gonna label them. And so as we go through this, the first one's gonna be really messy because you've never done it before. All right, so I mean, first time you do anything is super messy and that's what this is gonna be. Um, from here, it should get less messy as we go. So the first gra first video we're going to watch is is the comparing the height of a person's waist to the ground. So we're going to start by labeling our axes um, just like this. So on the bottom, it's time, and it's already labeled on your axes. The vertical axis, the y-axis, is height of waist off the ground. So you're going to label that height of waist off the ground, so on the y-axis, so it looks just like what's in the picture. And the scale in this picture is one foot. So that means that each line up is one foot. Okay, this first time we watch the video, I want you just to watch it. I don't want you to record anything down. I want you just to watch what's happening and focus on the height of this gentleman's waist from the ground. Height of the waist from the ground. So let's take a look. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the speed in half and we're gonna watch it at half speed three times. And each time I want you to get a little more data on your graph. When he starts at zero seconds, how high is his waist? Put that dot on your graph. About how high do you think it is? None of us have a yardstick or a meter stick to go measure. Just his waist. Just his waist. Yep, we're comparing the waist to the ground. So at zero seconds, about how high is his waist? Now we're gonna watch the video in half speed and plotting points along the way and the seconds will be in the lower left-hand corner. So we're going to try that another time. Um, you should hopefully have a couple pieces of data down. We want to have a dot at every second. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try it again, starting at zero seconds, putting in some dots as you go, and then we'll watch it one more time to fill in any gaps that you've got. So here we go.
All right, one more time to watch fill up any gaps. Here we go. Half time. Here we go. Last time we're going to watch it and then we're going to look at what graph they came up with. Okay, so what I want you to make sure you do is I don't want you to raise anything that's on your graph. So anything that you've created, I want you to keep it there. It's not going to be perfect. This is our first time, and that's okay. Um, as we go through these, you'll get a little bit, it'll become a little bit clearer. So don't erase anything. This is what the producers graphed out for us. Right, so take a look at your graph versus the graph that they've got here. What I'm most concerned about is the shape similar. I don't care if you're at three feet or 10 feet or two feet or nine feet. Do you have a general trend where he's walking towards the slide so his waist height isn't changing anywhere at the beginning? You don't need to raise anything. Okay. All right, are you showing a consistent rate up the slide? Here, at the top part, he's walking across. So his waist isn't really changing from the ground. And then here, bam, he sits down right at that part right here where I'm going with the most. And then he took a nice pause. Like his waist didn't move at all when he was sitting at the top of the slide. So that's what this pause represents. There was no change in the height off the ground. And then he went down the slide and then stood back up. All right, so this was our first time. It was probably a little messy, totally cool, not a big deal. Let's try another one. Let's try 